Hi everybody, Robert Dyer, and I'm here at Westfield Montgomery Mall where we're going to take a hard hat tour of the future Arclight Cinemas and the new dining terrace. I've got my VIP badge here. So we're going to head in to start the tour. So you can see we're here over at the West Westlake Terrace side of the mall where Macy's is. And here is the new wing that's being built on with the theater and the new dining terrace. Well, you know what we do in California. We meet every year. A lot of exciting things going on here at Westfield Montgomery. We just want to take a few minutes today and show you the new face in the center. We've always had a very faithful following, very popular in the community. We started to get feedback from our retailers and customers a few years ago that we needed to raise our game a little bit, bring a little bit of a new face to the property. So over the past 18 months, we've spent just over $90 million to execute on what the retailers and the customers were looking for. So the most obvious example of that is we've added just over 40,000 square feet in this space, roughly doubling the number of seating to 720 seats uh, within the space. And we really wanted to create a higher end, modern, classic aesthetic that would be comfortable and inviting for the customer. We also wanted to provide a wide variety of wonderful dining options. And you're going to meet with several of the owners and operators of the dining partners for us that will be coming in this year. Um, and obviously one of the bigger moves for us is the addition of the Arclight Cinema, which is the first Arclight Cinema on the East Coast. We were very proud to get them here at Montgomery, and we'll be able to take a bit of a peek behind the scenes uh, into the Arclight uh, just a bit later this morning. Really have this be kind of our new front door of the property. We really want to kind of welcome everybody to the new experience and to, for them to experience the dining terrace uh, through coming through our, our new front door. One of the new things that we're doing here with Cabot Grill, uh, we're adding a Woodstone oven. These are individual theaters. Yes, there's 16 theaters. So, 2,400 seats. Pardon us, guys.
where will the concessions be? So we're coming out right now. We had to go up a back way because we we're still doing the construction. Mm -hmm. But it's just going to be around the corner here. You'll see the main lobby. Okay. There'll be a concession stand. There's a wine bar. Small seating area with the open view over the trees. So now we're coming down into the main lobby just up here. As Eric said, our, our sight and sound is something that we're really, really proud of. We call these our black box auditoriums. Mm -hmm. The screen in this auditorium is going to be 63 feet wide. It's actually the second largest screen we have in our circuit. And um, the presentation is just, it, it's really, really, really important to us. You'll notice on the sound folds, as you're sitting in the auditorium, the lights are on this side. So when the lights go down and you're sitting in your seat, you can't see, you won't see any of uh, the, the row lighting. The exits are in the corridor, so you don't have any exit lightings near the screen. 
light can bounce from the screen and bounce up onto the casing of fluorescent lighting. So we really take a lot of care in how we present our, uh, present our films. We like to say we present them the way the filmmakers intended. And the quality of sight and sound that you'll see with Arclight, you really can only see on studio lots. It's just not replicated any place. Uh, we run digital projection everywhere, and then we also have 35 millimeter capability in all of in all of our theaters. I think there's two here that can play 35 millimeter mm -hmm. because we do play a lot of retrospectives. So some of those are only available in uh, in film. I think what we saw today was very impressive. We're seeing pretty much almost the finished product in the dining terrace, very impressive. Uh, we're seeing the, a lot of the bones of the theater coming together. It's definitely going to be the most impressive theater in this area, I think, when it's finished. Uh, we got a look at one, inside one of the theaters, still in the early stages. I think when you combine the, having this premium luxury theater, and what clearly are several five-star restaurants, uh, really full-service sit-down restaurants, that we're seeing the resurgence of the suburban indoor mall here. It's far from dead, and rather it's going to be one of the leading retail centers in Montgomery County in the D.C. area. We're hearing a lot of people uh, uh, the reports of the demise of the suburbs have been greatly exaggerated. Uh, the numbers for urban areas are down and people are once again moving in greater numbers out to the suburbs. And here we're going to have five-star restaurants, five-star movie experience, as well as the high-end retail and plenty of free surface parking that's going to be very convenient and right off Interstate 270 and close to the Beltway. So it's a very promising future here at Westfield Montgomery Mall. I'm hoping they're going to have another event so that we can get a look at the finished theater, which is scheduled to open in late October. And so I thank you for watching today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.